get the mutton biryani. They're going to do this in cooker. Most of the time when there is festivals coming, there's a lot of work to do. And we like to do recipes which are quick, easy and you yet tasty. There's no compromise on the taste. So we like to do such kind of recipes where it will save your time. This is one of the recipe where you don't have to put them, you don't have to wait for too long to get just cook put it into the cooker and then your rice is done it's that simple and it's very easy that you can do this and it's a easy one pot meal that you can use it for christmas time or any festival time whichever you want to serve it or if you have some guests who have come over where you don't have to marinate your meat you just can just do it very very fast so let's have a look at the ingredients let's do the first step I have taken about 400 grams of mutton which is washed well. I have added half teaspoon of the turmeric, half teaspoon of the chili powder, some salt for only the mutton. Then I have to crush and add the small piece of ginger, about 4 pieces of garlic. If you don't have pieces like this or you only have uh, the paste then you add 1 teaspoon of it. Okay. Then a half teaspoon of the cumin I have, quarter teaspoon of the peppercorn, one piece of cassia, one green cardamom. Then I have two to three pieces of the cloves. Now I'm going to nicely crush, make a powder of this and add on here. Crush this and add here and then add about half cup of water also. Okay, And then nicely pressure cook this. Depends on your pressure cooker. Maybe five whistle, six whistle, how much ever you feel your mutton is cooked very well okay there's okay the water whatever left in the mutton later on we will use for the rice okay so you add that half cup of water and nicely pressure cook this and take it out the next step the ingredients for the making the rice and the masala what we will need it's cooked i'm going to use the same vessel so add in some oil you can either alternatively do it with butter ghee or you can mix oil and butter and do oil and ghee however you like whatever your choice okay and let me show you the ingredients needed. Let the pan get heated in the meanwhile. So we have to use the cooker itself, okay? Ingredients needed. We will need some ghee in the last to just add it on top of it. I will tell you the count of the garam masala. I have taken all the garam masala whole I have here. So I will count and add it and show you what I am adding the garam masala. I have taken nice two medium size of onion which is finely sliced. Two tablespoon of curd I have here. A handful of coriander leaves, a little bit of mint leaves, then I have taken a piece of ginger, about eight pieces or medium pieces of the garlic eight, one tomato I have taken, half teaspoon of pepper powder, half teaspoon of the cumin powder, one tablespoon of the coriander powder, one teaspoon of the chili powder. Keep in mind we are adding pepper, we have added already masalas in the uh, meat, so chili powder you can adjust to your level of taste. Okay. So once the pan is hot, we are going to add in about 3 to 4 tablespoons of the cooking oil. Now it's up to you, as I said, whatever you like you can add it. Pan is hot, I'm adding 2 bay leaves, 1 piece of the stone flour, 1 piece of the javitri, 1 black cardamom, 1 star anise, one small piece of the cassia, two green cardamoms, three pieces of the cloves and quarter teaspoon of the shah jeera. Alright. Once that splutters, add in the onion and a pinch of salt so that it gets Rice. Yes. I have taken one and a half cup of the basmati rice which is soaking in the water for the last 30 minutes. Add in the ginger garlic and just crush the mint and the coriander leaf and then saute all of them well here. It won't take too long. I'm going to add in the tomatoes chopped as well now. I'm cutting one tomato and adding here. Add the tomatoes and saute for a while. Time to add in all the powders. Coriander chili powder, pepper powder and the cumin powder. 
to give it a good mix. Now I'm going to add in the meat pieces that we have boiled and kept as well. Time to add in the curd along with the meat piece. Ensure that you don't add sour curd. If the curd is sour, reduce the curd to the meat. Okay. I'm going to get this to a smaller stove. It was pretty hot in my hand. Add a little bit of salt. Keep in mind we had added salt in that other water also. So we have to carefully add here. I love this cook well. Now we have we have the mutton gravy that we had boiled. When we were boiling, we had the gravy now that we have to measure and add. So I'll tell you the measurement of the water. We have to add one cup is to one and a half cup of water. So in my case, I had taken the rice as. One and a half cups rice I had taken. So what I did was I added first one and a half cup. Then for the half cup rice I have added three fourth cup of the water as well. So that is the measurements that we have. Now I'm going to allow this boil. Check your salt here. Salt okay. Let it boil well. Check salt if needed. Add salt as well. I'm going to add in the rice as well and then give it a good mix don't add too much water to the rice here reason being we're going to make it in the cooker if the rice is more as such when you're making rice in the cooker you feel it's sticky sticky like but it has to cool down completely so now we have nicely mixed the rice the water is enough for the rice to get cooked so now what I'm going to do I'm going to put the pressure lid on this and put the whistle last time we what we're doing is we're going to add in about half teaspoon of the ghee if you like more you can do it but I don't like much I'm just adding a little for the flavor purpose and then we will close the lid okay and then when it is boiling just put the when the steam comes on top put the whistle one pre whistle it comes and then just reduce the flame to the lowest then keep it on high and get the one whistle once the one whistle comes you reduce it and just wait for three minutes and put off the stove okay This is cooked well. Absolutely nothing caught down. You feel as though uh, the rice is sticky like. The reason being, we made it in cooker, right? So always you will feel like that. Just wait for about a little while and um, then you start to serve when it is cold. So then what happens is it will come out very nicely. So this is how we have made the pressure cooker biryani. Try making, you will really enjoy this. Happy cooking and happy eating. Bye bye. So this is how we have made the pressure cooker biryani.